Hi, welcome to Hot Baked Italian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be making an, an, a breakfast pizza, so please uh, continue watching and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so to make a breakfast pizza, the first thing you're going to need is the pre-made crust. Now, this is so you buy it at the grocery store, usually in the Italian food store bag here, taking my crust out. But it looks something like this. They come in different brands. You just find one that you like. There's two pizza crusts in a bag, and we're going to use one today. There are also smaller, uh, smaller crusts, and you can even use those if you want to make some more maybe individual or smaller pizzas. You can do the same thing. I chose to use the one big one today. So here I have it. I just put it on a pizza pan that I have. I took some olive oil and I just am spreading it over the whole crust here. I just want to just get the whole crust covered with some olive oil. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit and get everything else ready. The first thing I need to do is take four eggs. Remember what I put in this bowl? I added a little salt and pepper. Just gonna lightly beat these eggs and then we want to scramble these eggs and get these all cooked. All right, I'm gonna come on over here to the stove. So I just put a couple tablespoons of butter um, in the frying pan, got that all melted. I'm just making your scrambled eggs. That's all you're gonna do. All right, so it looks like my scrambled eggs are all done. So I'm just gonna take these and put them in the bowl for the moment. And then while my pan is still hot, I am going to cook up some Italian sausage. And I just use Jimmy Dean sausage and roll. You can use sausage links, any kind of Italian or breakfast, any kind of breakfast sausage that you like. Um, I just enjoyed using this. And we're gonna use about half of a roll, about half a pound um, of, of sausage, and we're gonna brown this up. So I already had one all cut, ready to go, and I'm gonna just put that in there and get that cooking. Okay, so my sausage is looking done. I just made sure it's all just all broken up and cooked. Turn that off. I'm going to let this cool for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get my oven turned on. Now my oven shelf needs to be up to the top because we're going to use broil. So I moved this almost, almost all the way to the top, uh, the second layer down, and get this um, preheated going on broil. All right, so I have my eggs cooked, my sausages cooked, and I'm back here to my crust. Now, one thing I love about this recipe is that it is so easy, and for the most part, everything can be cut and cooked um, the night before, if need be. So, so all you have to do is maybe get up in the morning, uh, cook your eggs, and then just put everything all together. So with my eggs, I've just kind of have chopped them up. You don't want real big pieces here. And I'm just gonna spread those over my pizza. And this is great too because you can really specialize or individualize this pizza, this breakfast pizza, to whoever's eating it. If you use the smaller ones, maybe someone doesn't like sausage and you'd put maybe just a little more of something else on it or something different. So it all depends on what you like. You can even add more egg if you want to, just do more egg. All right, so here's the sausage. And then you also need about a three quarters of a cup of um, Canadian bacon. All right, just three quarters of a cup of Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon is hard to find, so you can also just use a ham, okay? Just a nice tasting ham. This happens to be a Black Forest ham. Um, I purchased it through the deli, um, just asked for it to be a little bit thick. So just kind of ask them to be, you know, Cut something like that, kind of thick, and one slice, and I just chopped it up into small pieces. All 
again, if someone doesn't like ham or doesn't like sausage or even doesn't like egg for that matter, you can leave that item off, add more of another. All right, once you have that on, then you need to do about uh, three quarters a cup of cheddar cheese. So we're just gonna sprinkle that on. We have a cup of Monterey Jack. It's kind of that, um, the blend, the Monterey Jack Colby. Put that on. Top it off with two diced tomatoes. I used oh, two of the smaller uh, vine ripe tomatoes. I just diced those up and you sprinkle that on top. You can make a very loaded pizza here. All right. And then we are going to top that off with just a little bit of oregano. About a half a teaspoon worth. I just like to crumble up a little bit more. And that is it. We are done putting it together. It's that easy. So you can imagine if you had the stuff cooked and chopped the night before, how quickly it would be for you to get it together for maybe a breakfast brunch in the morning for your family. Um, I've made this camping when I've been out with, and I have a, a friend with an RV and they have an oven. I've been able to do it camping, it's very easy. Um, even great for maybe a, a breakfast for dinner, you can put this together. All right, so then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in the oven in the hot broil and we're just gonna watch it um, until the cheese gets all melted and bubbly and then we'll pull it out and serve. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like it's all getting melted, but I think I'm gonna leave it in there just for a little bit longer and see if we just get a little bit more browned. Yeah, this is much better. I kept that in there just about a minute longer. Let me see, the crust is a little more brown. Everything's more cooked. All right, let's see how this came out. Mm. Delicious, what a great breakfast pizza for brunch or even for dinner. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you like this. Let me know, give me a, a comment below, give me a like and thumbs up. And I sure hope that you subscribe to this channel and succeed lots of other things I plan on making. Thank you and have a great day. Girando, tende vende tue volda il riposo, narcisetto a un cino d'amor, tende vende.